Meghan Markle is in the process of a rebrand. To rebrand is the attempt to change the image of a corporation, an organization, or indeed a person. It's a marketing strategy that's deployed for many reasons, but often it's used when there has been so much negative publicity around the entity in question that the entity needs a fresh start, needs to wipe the slate clean, needs the public to forget about whatever happened in the past and see them in a shiny new light. Meghan Markle's rebrand, in which she was attempting to get the public to stop thinking of her as a whining, complaining, constantly kvetching ex-royal, wannabe humanitarian, slash mommy blogger, slash women's rights activist, slash future political powerhouse, slash generally nice person, that was going all right, I suppose. She had signed on with a shiny new talent agency that might have had the best chance of guiding her to a shiny new place in the celebrity firmament. But then, one night in New York, she decided she was going to claim she was chased by photographers and BOOM! blew up any strategy Ari Emanuel's agency might have worked out for her. You know who else is in the process of a rebrand? Ivanka Trump. Ivanka Trump has been attempting to distance herself from her daddy's presidential administration, its draconian policies and overarching lunacy and toxicity, since daddy's left office a couple of years ago. Like Meghan Markle, Ivanka too once tried to position herself as something of a woman's rights activist. Back when Daddy had just started to realize his political ambitions, she even uh, wrote a book about working women. It was called, originally enough, Women Who Work, and it was vacuous of course, but it was her attempt to connect with us regular working gals and lead us on a better path forward. Certainly, however, us regular working gals are not typically embroiled in $25 million legal challenges to the family business, and that's only $25 million more reasons Ivanka would like to sever ties with her father and brothers. Look, Ivanka would rather that you forget she was part of all that. You know, that she once supported putting kids in cages and taking away women's reproductive rights and such, and she would like her place at the top of New York society back now. Thank you very much. Megan and Ivanka are both Americans, and, so it is said, America is a place where one can reinvent oneself. But the thing is, when a person changes, if that change doesn't reflect a person's core, or, in Megan's words, isn't authentic and organic to a person, the reinvention feels opportunistic and ultimately bizarre, as ill-fitting as one of Megan's outfits. So, let's face it. What we're dealing with here are two women, one from either side of the political spectrum, both as opportunistic as ever walked, hungry for fame, desperate for our attention, but with nothing worthwhile to offer once they've got it. These rebrandings are a bit of a spectacle, entertaining on some level, annoying too because it's frustrating that these people think we are so stupid we'll fall for their ploy, and ultimately because the gestures are so empty contemplating what must go on inside the brains of these unmoored people, the shape of their striving dreams and dashed ambitions, it is so very sad. If you like what we're doing at The Authentic, consider giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and ringing the bell so you'll be notified when a new video makes its debut, and think about leaving a comment, too. Thank you for watching.